a full face of first impressions. Let's see if we find any goodies. I'm gonna spend my money so you don't have to. We have a range of brands in here. Fenty, NARS, Laura Mercier, Bare Minerals, NYX, Hourglass, everything you can imagine. I've gone in with my trusty skincare bits because I don't want to jeopardize my whole makeup routine because of my skincare. I know these products work, so I'm going to see if the makeup actually works. We're first of all going to go in with a NYX Professional Makeup Thick It Stick It Brow Mascara. Mine is in the shade Cool Ash Brown, and we're just going to open this up, and then we're going to get it on my eyebrows. Hoping this is the right shade for me. Let's give it a little go. Okay, to be fair, it looks exactly like my normal brow hairs so that is obviously a good start but this actually has quite a waxy feel to it and i feel like it is like that down to the fact it's supposed to give you that thickening brow look i have just messed up right there um, but as you can see in comparison this side definitely looks a lot thicker and more full i don't tend to do much to my eyebrows so i feel like this is kind of that product that you need to get used to because this side looks too dark for me whereas this side i love I've now tidied it up. I much prefer it like this, and I actually really like this product. Is it a product I go to all the time? Probably not, um, but that's down to the fact that it's coloured, and I normally go for a clear one. I think if I had it in a lighter shade, I would definitely reach for it more often. Next up in the bag, we have the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion. People used to rave on about this all the time. I never tried it, so now it's my time. I am so obsessed with the packaging on this and I don't believe you actually need a lot of it. So I'm just going to place a little bit over my eyes and then I'm going to blend it all in. Using one dip, I've literally managed to cover both eyes and a little bit goes a very long way. It's quite serum-y so it blends really easily. And then I have one of Nars's new Christmas collections. I love this packaging so much. It's actually the Stargaze eyeshadow palette actually posted about this on my instagram but how gorgeous are these shades i kind of just want to do like a full shimmer moment i believe this shade here is called heartbreak and i'm going to do exactly that no i'm not heartbreaking anyone i don't have anyone to heartbreak first of all but i'm going to add a little brown shade and then i'm going to put shimmer all over my eyelid let's just blend this in that is very very pigmented not being funny i never just use like an eyeshadow primer i always put concealer down but that has gone on so nicely and i thought it's kind of like putting eyeshadow on bare skin because you can't actually see anything but i feel like that is well the payoff is insane and i don't know if it's down to the primer or the palette but both are working really nicely together okay i love that i'm gonna go in with this gold shade here that is so stunning and i'm literally gonna place it all over my eyelid and that 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 is gorgeous as you can tell i was very lost for words there i really just didn't know what to say but that is so gorgeous so shimmery and that eyeshadow base has worked really nice with the eyeshadows i hate to be that person but if you want to see the rest of the makeup look go to part two